In this video, let us discuss how to find the rank of a matrix. The rank of a matrix is found based on the highest minor of that matrix. Then what is the highest minor? If a given matrix is a square matrix, then the highest minor is the determinant formed with all the elements of that given matrix. For example, if this is a matrix, the highest minor of this matrix is of order 2. And in the case of this matrix, the highest minor is of order 3. Now, the rank of that matrix is found based on the order of the highest minor. If in the case of a 3 by 3 matrix, the highest minor is of order 3, then the highest rank that we can give to that matrix is 3. Suppose the rank is not 3. I said that the highest rank that we can give to that matrix is 3. So, it is not compulsory that the rank of a 3 by 3 matrix is 3. The highest rank can be 3. We have to check whether the rank is 3 by calculating the determinant value of that matrix. If the determinant value is a non-zero number, then the rank is 3. It is confirmed. Suppose the determinant value is 0, then the rank is not 3. Then we have to come to the next rank, that is 2. In the same way, we have to check whether the rank is 2. And if it is not 2, then the lowest rank for a matrix is 1. So, in the case of ranking a matrix, it is not just like what we do in the case of other ranks. Normally, rank is 1 for the highest, 2 for the next, 3 for the next, like that. But in the case of rank of a matrix, the order of that matrix Whatever it is, if it is a 2 by 2 matrix, the highest rank of that matrix will be 2. And if it is a 3 by 3 matrix, the highest rank of that matrix will be 3. So based on this order, the highest rank is determined. And then if it is not that rank, then we come to the next lowest number. Like that it goes. Let us see how it is executed. Now, let us find... The rank of this matrix it is a 3 by 3 matrix. So the highest minor of that matrix is this. Highest minor means the determinant value of all the elements in the matrix. There is the highest minor. Highest minor is equal to the determinant of a matrix. And if we are asked to find the minor of a particular element in the matrix, just like 5. If we are to find the minor of 5 that means we have to delete the row and the column in which 5 lies and for the remaining elements using that we have to find the determinant value so the minor of 5 is determinant of 1 3 1 0 and the minor of 2 is determinant of 0 3 2 0 the minor of 1 is determinant of 0 1 2 1 so minor is just like the determinant but if we are finding it for a particular element of the matrix just like minor of 5 or minor of 2 like that then we have to remove the row and column of that particular element and the determinant value found based on the remaining elements is the minor and if we are asked to find the highest minor of a matrix that means the determinant value based on all the elements in that square matrix is the highest minor Thus, the highest minor of this matrix is of order 3. When the highest minor of this matrix is 3, then the rank of that matrix will be 3. But we have to check whether it is 3 by finding the determinant value of this matrix. If the determinant value is a non-zero number, then the rank is 3. But if it is 0, then rank is not 3. Let us check it. We have to find the highest minor or the determinant value of this matrix. It is 5 into determinant of 1, 3, 1, 0 minus 2 into determinant of 0, 3, 2, 0 plus 1 into determinant of 0, 1, 2, 1. That is 5 into 1 into 0 minus 1 into 3 
minus 2 into 0 into 0 minus 2 into 3 plus 1 into 0 into 1 minus 2 into 1. So that is equal to minus 15 plus 12 minus 2. Hence it is minus 5. So the determinant value of this matrix or the highest minor of this matrix is equal to minus 5. It is a non-zero number. When it is a non-zero number, the rank is 3. It is confirmed. The rank is 3 because highest minor is of order 3 and the determinant value found is a non-zero number. It may be positive or negative. Here it is minus 5. It is a minus number or a negative number. But it is not 0. If it is not 0, rank is that. And now, let us check with a different question. Here we have to find the rank of this matrix. It is matrix of 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 9, 2, 4, 6. Now the highest minor of this matrix is of order 3. So the highest rank that we can give to this matrix is 3. But we have to check whether it is 3 or not. The highest rank can be 3. But it is not confirmed that the rank is 3. If it is not 3, we have to come to the next lowest number as the rank that is 2. Let us find the determinant value to confirm rank. Determinant of this matrix is equal to 1 into determinant of 6, 9, 4, 6 minus 2 into determinant of 3, 9, 2, 6 plus 3 into determinant of 3, 6, 2, 4. And thus we get the determinant value as 0. So the determinant is 0. That means the rank here is not 3. So we have to check with the next rank or the lowest rank next to 3. The next lower rank is 2. We have to check whether the rank of this matrix is 2. It is confirmed that the rank is not 3 because the determinant value is 0. If it was any number other than 0, it would have been rank 3. It can be positive number or negative number but not 0. Since it is 0, it is confirmed that rank is not 3. Now let us check whether the rank is 2. And in order to check whether the rank is 2, this 3 by 3 matrix has to be converted into 2 by 2 matrices. How many 2 by 2 matrices can be formed using this 3 by 3 matrix? This is the 3 by 3 matrix given in the question or it is the base matrix. From this we can find 4 2 by 2 matrices. Let us check how it is. This can be a 2 by 2 matrix and the highest minor of that matrix will be determinant of 1, 2, 3, 6. Now let us check which is the next 2 by 2 matrix. This is the next 2 by 2 matrix and the highest minor of that matrix will be determinant of 2, 3, 6, 9. And then coming to the next one, the highest minor will be determinant of 3, 6, 2, 4. And then the last 2 by 2 matrix that can be formed here is using these elements. And the highest minor will be determinant of 6, 9, 4, 6. So we can form 4 2 by 2 matrices from a 3 by 3 matrix. Using these 4 matrices, we have to check whether the rank of the matrix is 2. So, we have to find the determinant values of each of these 2 by 2 matrices separately. Let us take the first one. Here, the determinant can be calculated as 1 into 6 minus 3 into 2. That will be 6 minus 6. Hence, the determinant value is 0. Now, coming to the second one, the determinant can be calculated as 2 into 9 minus 6 into 3. That is 18 minus 18. Again, it is 0. And now, let us check the third one. And the determinant value there is 3 into 4 minus 2 into 6. That is 12 minus 12. Again, the determinant value is 0. And then for the fourth 2 by 2 matrix, the determinant value is 6 into 6 minus 4 into 9. That is 36 minus 36. Again, the determinant value is 0. 
So for all the four two by two matrices formed from the basic three by three matrix, the determinant values are zero. If at least one of these matrices has got a determinant value as a non-zero number, the rank would have been two. But here, all these matrices have got determinant values as zero. When all the values are zero, then the rank is not two. We have checked that whether the rank is three because the highest minor is of order three, and the determinant value was zero. Then, so the rank was not three. Then we checked by converting into two by two matrices. There also all the determinant values we got as zero. Thus, it is confirmed that the rank is not two. Then what happens? The minimum rank of a non-zero matrix is one. There is no need for calculating the determinant value. It is confirmed that if the rank is not two, then the lowest rank is one. So we can give one as the rank for this matrix. Here the rank is one. That is confirmed. That is how we calculate the rank of a matrix. The highest rank of a matrix will be same as the order of its highest minor. For three by three matrix, the highest rank will be three. And if its determinant value is zero, then the rank is not three. Then we have to convert it into two by two matrices to check whether the rank is two. And if all the determinant values are zero, then the rank is not two. Then we can put the rank as one, which is the lowest rank for a matrix. And suppose if the determinant value of at least one of the different two by two matrices formed was a non-zero number, all the three two by two matrices has got zero as the determinant value, but one has got a non-zero number. Then the rank is two, but in this case, the question that we have done, all the determinant values of the two by two matrices were zero, so the rank is not two. That is how we find the rank of a matrix. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.